Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with the second part of our series, the five part series of articulation sounds. So last time uh, we talked about bilabials, which means two lips. So we talked about the p and the b and the m sounds, which have to do with the lips. So this week we're going to talk about labial dental. So labial has to do with the lips again, and dental sounds like dentists who take care of your teeth, okay? So it's going to be with the lip and the teeth. So the sounds that are labial dental are the F sound and the V sound, okay? So when you think about the F and the V, your lip placement and teeth placement are going to be the same. It's going to be the same thing as the bilabial. So you're going to have one that is voiced and one that is unvoiced, okay? So when it is voiced, you're going to feel the vibration here. If it's unvoiced, it's just going to be air coming out or you just won't feel a vibration here, okay? So in order to do our labiodental sounds, the F and the V, we are going to put our teeth, top teeth, on top of our bottom lip. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Okay, so if you're placing your mouth to say it, it's going to have the teeth on the top of your bottom lip. Okay, so when we're making the F sound, it's going to go... You're blowing air, okay? I don't feel the vibration because it's unvoiced. It's not going to make a voice sound. When I get to the V sound, it's going to be voiced. So if you want to touch here in your throat and feel as you do the V sound. Remember, your teeth go on the top of your bottom lip and make a V sound. And the kids may say, oh, it tickles, it feels funny. Exactly. Okay. So the F sound is going to go, make sure they're blowing out. And the V sound is going to go, Okay, so say the word four with me, okay? Place your top teeth on your bottom lip and say four, four. Okay, so we're blowing out, four. Now I want you to say very, okay? So we're going to put our top teeth on our bottom lip and we're going to say very, 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 okay? So, now let's talk about how we can practice this, okay? So we can take our straw again, and we are going to put it right on top of the bottom lip, and we want our teeth to press down on it to make an, an indent. Okay? If we take it out, then the kid will know where to put it. Try it again. This is just to help a placement. They don't need to make a sound yet or make a word. We just want them to know where to place it and how it should feel. So put the straw on top of the bottom lip and the teeth on top of it and press down. Good. Okay. You can also practice with a toothbrush that is motorized so they can feel what vibration is going to be. So when they're brushing their teeth and they have an automatic toothbrush, that's kind of how it feels. It feels like that little vibration, tricky, weird type of feeling, okay? So I can turn this on and they can hear it and you can even touch it, touch it to their lips and they can say, oh, oh that's how it goes. That's exactly what the V sound is going to make, okay? Now. We're going to take it. Now let's try it with the sound. So let's make our F sound. Good. Let's make the V sound. Feels tickly. And it should. Okay. Now let's try to make a word with it. Fat. Okay. If I say the whole word, it's going to fall out. But that's fine because I know I'll place it in the right place. Fat, very, violin, okay? Sometimes kiddos want to do the um, ba, 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 putting 
two lips together instead of using those teeth okay to put on top of their bottom lip so we have to make sure that we are training them and showing them exactly what the placement is before we get started on the sound and the words and the sentences phrases sentences and conversation okay now let's go over an activity that you can do okay this activity is going to be carrying the egg like we've done growing up okay but this time you're going to first place it where it goes for your f and b sound so i know it goes on the bottom lip it's going to be just like the straw and then i'm going to put my teeth here and i'm going to have to balance and hold it okay so here we go let me try without breaking it Then you're going to have them walk down, make it a race, however you want to do it. If they're doing this, that's the bilabial sound. So if you're practicing bilabial sounds, you can do that too. Okay, if you think you should turn it this way, maybe have them do it, you can. And have them walk with it. So that's a little activity that you can do. Okay. Don't forget that to remember the ones that come out with the air is the F sound you won't feel a vibration here because it's unvoiced if you're making the V sound you can hear it and you can feel it and it feels a little weird okay and it's in conjunction with when they put their toothbrush they can put their toothbrush if they are having a hard time with that sensation put the toothbrush the automatic toothbrush and put it on their uh, bottom lip so they can feel that vibration because it feels a little weird and that's why they want to go to b -b 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 sounds okay all right so I have um, attached uh, articulation games freebie that you can get if you click the link um, below and you can download it okay so for example this is the one that's going to be for the labial dental sounds and all I'm going to do is here I'm going to roll my dice and whatever it lands on that's a six i'm going to find at the bottom the six okay and i can pick any picture in the bottom row and practice the word or sound okay so if i'm just starting out i just want to do a sound i have a vase on here so i'm just going to do the v sound okay if they say it correctly v, then you can take your dry erase marker and I laminated and put on a different color you can do that too okay I'm gonna mark it out and then the next person is gonna roll they pick one and I got four okay so they'll take their marker which is brown and go to the fourth row with the fourth dice and I have um, five so I'm gonna make the um, if I'm working on words I'm gonna say five I don't want to say five. I want them to say five. If they automatically go to five, stop, have them place the correct placement, and then say the sound, then finish the word. Five. Okay? Then once they get that correct, they can mark theirs out. Whoever has the most X's at the end is the one who wins. Okay? Alright, so I hope this helps you um, in our next um, series of articulation sounds with our labial dental sounds. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below, okay? If you didn't get a chance to see the bilabial video, make sure you look up in the corner and click that video so you can go back to that one. If you sign up and for the articulation freebie, you will get to all of these, okay? that you can play that with all of the sounds that we're going to be doing. Hope this helps. You have been a wonderful audience, and I'll see you next week with our next series. Bye. Thank you.